Hi, this is Rick for EDU Mobile Academy telling you about a new course that we have now, Ruby. This is a basic introductory course for the Ruby programming language and its syntax. This is not a course on Ruby on Rails. I am working on a course on Ruby on Rails. This is a course for a programmer that wants to learn how to use Ruby to do anything that Ruby can do. And Ruby can do a lot of things. We can use Ruby on Rails with the internet as a glue language. We can use Ruby to create GUI applications. We can simply use Ruby at the command line. There are many different ways to use Ruby. Anything that any other programming language to do virtually, Ruby can do just as well and in some cases better. So this course teaches Ruby syntax from the ground up. We assume that you know a little bit about object-oriented programming and maybe have worked with another programming language such as C or Java, but that's not really as important because Ruby syntax is completely different than anything that you're probably already familiar with. Uh, it is very terse and very powerful as a language. So what are you going to learn in this course? Well, in the, the course consists of three units. And in unit one, we're going to have an introduction, of course. We're going to talk about getting Ruby. You might already have Ruby on your system and not even know about it. We're going to talk about various editors you could use, what we're going to use in the course, and then how to edit the files. And we're also going to talk about how you can run Ruby interactively at the command line. And then we're going to dive right into the syntax of the language with identifiers, variables, and constants. We'll talk about if and else and end if and that kind of thing. Uh, we'll talk about loops and also some modifiers that we can have. Uh, if modifiers and in less statement modifiers and also things like special symbols that we use with variables uh, and also modifiers that we can have on loops. So that is unit one. Unit two, we start talking about data constructs. We'll talk about arrays and hashes, and then we'll talk about methods. And it might seem kind of strange to talk about methods before we really get to classes, but really everything in Ruby is an object. So every function that you would think of it in another language, we think of as a method in Ruby because it is. It is a method of some class that we're working in. We'll talk about blocks and using them with methods. And blocks are a very powerful way to implement uh, closures and also we can pass blocks to functions or methods in any way that we want. In unit 3 we'll talk about the syntax of classes and objects in Ruby. It's a little bit different than you might expect. Classes, properties, methods, objects, inheritance, things like that. Attributes in Ruby are always protected uh, but we'll talk about ways to write getters and setters and make those attributes appear to be public outside of the class definition itself. We'll talk about inheritance and how that's implemented in Ruby. It's actually very simple. We'll talk about access. Uh, we know, I've already said, that attributes are always protected, but methods have various types of access. And they can be public, protected, or private. And private means something different uh, than it would mean to you coming from Java or coming from C++ or so forth. So I hope you join us for the course. I'm very excited to be teaching it and I'm really looking forward to teaching the next course on Ruby on Rails. Thank you very much.